Hello guys, welcome to your first Minecraft animation tutorial. Today we're going to be going over basic Minecraft animation. Uh, for this tutorial, you're going to need two things. One of them is optional, the other one is kind of mandatory if you're going to be following along. The first one is Cinema 4D. Now, to download Cinema 4D, it's going to be in the description. You can download the trial, and then you can buy it after you download the trial. Or you can just buy it and download it from there. Uh, this will be in the description. You're going to need to download this. Uh, without it you can't follow along because I'm going to be using it. Uh, the optional thing is Photoshop. Now, the reason it's optional is because we're going to be using that to use our textures, but I will add the textures in the description to download so you don't technically need it, but I will show you how to use it. Or I will show you how to get the textures yourself, just in case you wanted to. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Open up Cinema 4D. I have Cinema 4D Studio R13. Now, I think R14 is out, but it doesn't really matter which one you're using. Alright, and so you can see we have this basic nothingness. And uh, to get started, to create our landscape. Now, we're just creating our landscape. It's going to be somewhat of a short tutorial. Um, since it's a short tutorial, just stay tuned for the next one. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so, Alright, without any further mumbling, let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need to create a plane. Now, to create a plane, it's very basic. What you do is you can go to Create, Object, and then Plane. Or, you can go to this little box right here, and where it says Add Cube Object. But you can hold down your left mouse click and move on down to Plane and click it. Now, you'll see we have our plane, and this is going to be our basic Minecraft uh, floor. Alright, so now that we have this little plane, it's not exactly very big. Now to get uh, the plane to be bigger, go ahead and change the width probably to around 5,000 and the height to 5,000 and then the width segments and height segments, let's change those both to 50. So you can see our terrain, it's kind of big. Uh, it's, de it's decent. Uh, it's not like we need a really big terrain. And uh, so once you have this, it's really basic what you do next. Hit the uh, letter C on your keyboard, or you could go up here and click that button. And what that did is it allows us to edit our terrain. Alright, so I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And uh, what you're going to do next is you're going to go down here to this button. It says use polygon mode. And uh, go ahead and click it. And you can see we can highlight things now. Um, click your live selection tool, and then we can highlight. Um, I'm just going to change our radius down here to 20 so it'll make it bigger. Now hold down shift and click and what you're doing right now is you're just basically forming your terrain of how you'd like it to be and I'm making it kind of weird looking but it's not like it has to be really good. So as you're forming your terrain this is all you right now you, you don't have to copy this at all you can just pretty much make it as however you'd like. All right. So that's where our little character is going to be, right in this little patch. Alright, so once you have it all highlighted, if you would like to delete some, hold down control and just go ahead and delete. Alright, so once you have it all highlighted, go ahead and click, right click, and go to extrude. Now what extrude will do is it will allow us to create um, the blocky texture-ness part of it. So go to the offset and set that to 100. All right, so you can see it's kind of getting blocks, kind of. All right, so now if you see, if you extrude it one more time and nothing happens, what you do to um, make it look more like a terrain is hit the letter U and then hit the letter K. And what that does is it shrinks your selection so you can go on to offset and hit 100 again and it does the same thing but on a lower selection so it looks more terrain like now keep doing that until all of the yellow is gone so just gonna keep doing this UK 100 UK 100 uh, UK 100 UK 100 and keep doing this until all of the yellow is gone. Oops. 
uh, UK. Uh, right click, extrude by 100. U and K, 100. A little shortcut is it UK, and then just enter, and then 100. And uh, so we have a pretty big terrain. All right. So you can see we have our terrain. Now, it's not like it's not the best, but this will do uh, for right now. Um, right now you have your basic terrain uh, layout. So go ahead and click Tutorial 2 and you can go there. We're going to be working with textures in Tutorial 2 so you can actually texture your little terrain so it looks nicer and it doesn't look bad. <laughs> Alright, um, one more cool thing about this is, um, let's go down here. You can see that, hold on, that I'm inside of it right now. And if I look up, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I keep messing up with this. I'm, I'm trying to get used to these controls. It's kind of weird. Um, you can see, if, if I look up very slowly. Nope, that's not it. Oops. Let me just kind of rotate myself right there. All right. What I'm trying to show you is that it's hollow. And since it's hollow, it's going to take down render time tremendously. And whenever, if you have any past with animating, you'll know that rendering takes a while. And it's really cool because this is hollow and a lot of the time what people end up doing is they create a cube and then like they bring that cube up and they just copy and they paste it and then they bring it to the side and they just keep on doing that to create their terrain. It takes ages. So it's a lot quicker doing it this way and it looks, I think in my opinion, it looks a much nicer. Uh, so go ahead and click tutorial 2 and get on to making textures. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more and uh, stay tuned.